A favorite adage of those in their later years to gullible children, the idea that constantly cracking your knuckles will eventually lead to arthritis is entirely unfounded. Multiple studies have been conducted following individuals as they crack their fingers over weeks, months, and years, and no conclusive evidence has ever surfaced providing a link between arthritis and the tendency to pop your knuckles. A strange and oddly specific myth is the rumor that swallowed bubblegum remains in your stomach for years at a time. While some claim gum remains in your system for four years, it is also common to be heard extending to seven years. But in every case, chewing gum does not sit in your stomach for more than a week at a time. If it or any food did, the sheer amount of backup in the digestive tract would turn out to be catastrophic to the human body, and the threat would receive more medical attention than the snide remarks of your parents. A myth that has long caused residents in large cities to dodge walking by skyscrapers is the idea that a penny dropped from such an immense height could effectively cave in the skull of a passerby and kill them instantly. However, scientists have busted this rumor as well, claiming the amount of air resistance the coin would face as it plummeted to the ground would be enough to keep the penny from harming anyone at all. In fact, Lewis Bloomfield, the physicist who took the myth to the grinding stone, claims that a penny dropped from the Empire State Building would feel like a soft flick in the face once it struck you, if you even noticed it hitting you at all. The idea that our blood is blue before it hits oxygen is also completely untrue. Blood is always red, though it does appear in different shades. Oxygenated blood is a bright red, while blood that has been depleted of oxygen has a bold crimson color. Many believe the myth of the blue blood comes from the fact that the veins of our body we can see are blue, but that color is due to the tissue under our skin and not the blood that courses through them. A favorite punchline of parents and nightmare of babysitters is the warning, don't give your kids sugar because it will make them hyperactive. However, modern scientists have been unable to find any conclusive evidence that sugar is the reason why nine-year-olds bounce off the walls. However, studies do show that sugar can lead behavior and that an unhealthy dose of it can temporarily deteriorate the attention span of a child, which often leaves them wanting to fill their time with something exciting. So while no child goes crazy just because they've been loaded up with sugar, their brains do lose the ability to focus on one specific task. If your parents have ever warned you that staying in the bath or pool too long can create severe pruning, science is willing to back you up. Recent studies have shown that the wrinkles and waves in our fingers and hands is likely an evolutionary mechanism to improve our grip whenever human beings find themselves underwater. Without it, objects would likely slip through our hands with greater ease, and it would make a multitude of underwater activities extremely difficult, and in some cases, impossible. While the chameleon has long been an inspiration for camouflage, animal researchers who study behavior claim that the means of the chameleon changing its colors to blend into its surroundings is a mere byproduct of their original intention, which is to warn neighboring chameleons of impending danger. Not every chameleon can absorb the colors of their background, but most can change colors in a small spectrum of shades, leading scientists to assume that this evolutionary advantage is for the chameleon community, rather than any one individual. A popular staple of both Spanish culture and American cartoons, the myth that bulls hate the color red has been long ingrained and difficult to expel. But bulls seem to show no color preference whatsoever, and matadors have long known this. Yellow and blue capes have often been used while bullfighting, and the bulls will only be active if the cape is in a frenzied motion. It is not the color of the cape that incites the bull to buck, but the speed of its movement. You've seen it a dozen times in televised cop procedurals. The notion that the police cannot issue a missing persons report for 24 hours. But in reality, and depending on the person and the location, the police have the authority and means to put out a report for any missing person at any time. It is often that these requests come from parents of young children, those who care for the elderly, or guardians of individuals who are mentally or physically handicapped. The 24-hour waiting period is by no means a rule for the police department. Just a generality for those who claim friends and family who are perfectly able of taking care of themselves that have gone missing prematurely. 
a myth perpetuated by the common saying, blind as a bat. It's actually common scientific knowledge that none of the over 1,000 species of bat is blind. What is up for debate is the means in which bats use echolocation. Bats are fully capable of sight, as noticing changes in light is how bats are able to know when day has passed into night. Considering their nocturnal nature and hunting preferences, blindness would not be beneficial to them in the slightest.